Hey, it's CVPR again. For those of you who are curious what we've been up to, I've created a little remix of our Spotlight videos. Five papers in 10 minutes. This is joint work with our collaborators at NVIDIA and ETH Zurich. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Despina and today I'm happy to present our work Neural Parts Learning Expressive 3D Shape Abstractions with Invertible Neural Networks, a joint work with Angelos Katharopoulos, Andreas Geiger and Sanja Fiedler. Existing primitive paste representations seek to infer semantically consistent part arrangements across different objects and provide a more interpretable alternative compared to more powerful implicit representations. They rely on simple shapes such as 3D cuboids, superquadrics, 3D anisotropic Gaussians or more general convex shapes. In this paper we identify that there exists a trade-off between the reconstruction quality and the number of parts in primitive paste methods. Due to their simple parameterization, existing primitives have limited expressivity and require a large number of parts for capturing complex geometries. However, using more parts results in less interpretable abstractions since they do not correspond to identifiable parts. For example, primitive base reconstruction with 50 convexes result in accurate reconstructions, however, it is not possible to identify whether this part corresponds to a human part or a plane part. To address this, we introduce neural parts, a primitive representation that is not limited to a specific family of shapes, which results in geometrically more accurate and semantically more meaningful abstractions compared to simpler primitives. We define each primitive as the deformation of a sphere that is conditioned on the input via a predicted latent vector. This formulation allows each primitive to be an arbitrarily complex zero zero shape. We define this deformation as a homeomorphic mapping implemented with an invertible neural network. This allows us to get an explicit mesh representation as well as an implicit occupancy representation for its primitive using the forward and inverse mapping of the invertible neural network. Hi, I'm Michael and in the following I'll present Giraffe, representing scenes as compositional generative neural feature fields. We start off by sampling individual shape and appearance codes for each object in the scene and for the background. These will give us individual feature fields which all live in a canonical space. A feature field is a function which predicts a density value in a feature vector for a given 3D location and a viewing direction. Note that here we show RGB instead of features for clarity. Next, for each feature field, we sample a pose from a predefined distribution. We can then apply the resulting transformation to each feature field to obtain post feature fields, which all live in the same scene space. We then combine all individual feature fields using the composition operator to obtain one single scene representation. In order to render the scene, we first need to sample the camera pose from a predefined distribution. We then perform volume rendering for the sampled camera and obtain a feature image. This low resolution feature image is then passed to a 2D neural renderer, which upsamples the image and outputs the final RGB rendering. Crucial for achieving controllable image synthesis is that while doing training, we randomly sample the object as well as the camera poses. At test time, we have explicit control over them. And of course, the same applies to the individual shape and appearance codes. Here we show results for rotating the object. Similarly, we can also translate the object horizontally. And here we show results for changing the depth of the object. We now keep the object poses as well as the background fixed and only change the shape of the object. Hi, I'm Fabio from the University of Bologna. And in this video, I'll be talking about SMD nets, stereo mixture density networks a joint work with Yi Liao, Caroline Schmidt, and Andreas Geiger. In this talk, we are going to focus on the stereo matching problem, a long-standing and active research topic in computer vision. The main goal of stereo matching is to recover dense correspondences between image pairs by estimating the disparity between matching pixels, 
required to infer depth through triangulation. Nowadays, deep learning architectures based on convolutional neural networks have outperformed traditional methods by a large margin in terms of accuracy on standard benchmarks. However, while CNN-based methods have achieved large improvement in the disparity estimation task, they are limited to discrete predictions at pixel locations of a fixed resolution image grid and suffer from severe oversmoothing problems at edge boundaries. In fact, despite the estimated disparity map looks good, they often poorly reconstruct object boundaries, causing bleeding artifacts when converted to 3D point clouds, as clearly shown in this picture. While classical deep networks for stereo regression suffer from smoothness bias and are not able of representing sharp disparity discontinuities, the proposed stereo mixture density networks effectively address this issue by predicting sharp boundaries and thus clean 3D reconstructions. Here we illustrate the differences between classical deep networks for stereo regression and our proposed method. For clarity, we visualize the disparity for a single image row. In particular, on the left, we can see an example of a standard network that suffered the smoothness bias and continuously interpolate object boundaries. As we can notice, the best that this model can do is to predict at discrete locations the black dots that represent the estimated disparities that are smoothly transitioning from the foreground to the background. On the right, instead, we show our mixture density network that estimates a bimodal mixture distribution over disparity values, which can be queried at any continuous spatial location X. By doing so, the distribution can basically model both the modes, mu1 and mu2, and then we can select as the final disparity value the mode with the highest probability density, such that we can model a sharp edge even if the two modes are continuously transitioning from the foreground to the background. Here we show our model that, on top of a standard stereo backbone, does not directly predict the output disparity or the parameters of our bimodal mixture model, but instead, by means of an additional head called SMD head, queries at arbitrary continuous location in the image domain the feature values predicted by the stereo backbone using bilinear interpolation. Then, these features are passed through a multi-layer perceptron in order to estimate the parameters of the bimodal Laplacian mixture distribution. Note that our formulation allows to query the disparity at any continuous 2D pixel location, enabling ultra-high resolution predictions. So despite the input image is at fixed resolution, we can predict much higher resolution outputs. We present a new approach that simultaneously conducts surface reconstruction and joint rotation estimation for human mesh registration from sparse point clouds of dressed humans. Essentially, we use a set of piecewise functions that predict translational vector fields between the post space and the canonical space of humans which implicitly captures the joint rotations using local point cloud features. Thus, we term our approach locally aware piecewise transformation fields. Our approach aims at register parametric human body models to sparse point clouds of dressed humans. We follow a recently proposed approach IPNet, by first reconstructing surfaces of dressed humans from sparse point clouds, and then fitting parametric human body models to the reconstructed surfaces. Hi, I'm Aditya, and I'll present our work on Multimodal Fusion Transformer for End-to-End -end Autonomous Driving. Consider a scenario where the ego vehicle is about to enter an intersection. To safely navigate the intersection, the ego vehicle needs to capture the global context of the 3D scene and model the dependencies between the traffic lights on the right and the vehicles on the left. The ego vehicle perceives the environment through different sensors, camera and lidar being the most popular ones. While a camera can provide dense perceptual information about the scene, it lacks reliable 3D information and is highly susceptible to variation in weather conditions. On the other hand, lidar consists of 3D information, but lidar measurements are typically very sparse and do not contain important information such as traffic light states. Hence, Image-only and ladder-only methods are likely to fail in complex scenarios. 
This limitation can be mitigated by using fusion-based approaches which helps to capture both the geometric and semantic information of the 3D scene. Our key idea is to use attention-based feature fusion to capture the global context of the 3D scene. In particular, we use transformers for this purpose. We consider RGB image and LiDAR bird's eye view projection as input to our model. These are then processed by ResNet modules resulting in feature maps of different resolution throughout the encoder. We then use transformers to integrate image and LiDAR features at multiple resolutions. In this scenario, geometric fusion collides with the vehicle coming from the right, whereas our transfusion model stops our vehicles and is able to safely cross the intersection. This is another example of dense traffic at an intersection. 